In this video I'm going to show you how to make a custom toolbar in Adobe Illustrator. I'm currently working in the Essentials Classic uh, workspace so I have a number of tool tools open and panels open but this technique will work with any of the um, existing Illustrator tool workspaces. Uh, at the bottom of your toolbar you're going to find three little dots and those three little dots will allow you to edit a toolbar. So you're going to go ahead and click the dots. It's going to bring out a flyout menu. Um, and from the upper right hand corner we're going to select the menu and choose new, new toolbar. And I'm going to name this toolbar um, demonstration and I'm going to go ahead and click OK. When I do that I'm going to get a neat little toolbar that has nothing in it and those three little dots again at the bottom and this is going to allow me to add and subtract um, components from this toolbar. To add a tool I'm just going to click and drag the tool over to the toolbar. To subtract it all I have to do is drag it off of the toolbar. So I'm going to add the selection tool. Maybe I'll add the direct selection tool as I do that I have two options so as I hover it's going to offer me a new little slot or if I hover over an existing tool this will allow me to make um, a collection of tools. I like to think, about, uh, think of them like drawers in my toolbox but we're just going to drop that one right below it and we'll get the curvature tool. We'll allow the curvature tool and let's add oh gosh Oh, I like the rotate tool. And last but not least, let's add the scale tool. And then when I'm done with this toolbar, I just click off of it or you know, click outside of that box and there is the toolbar. This toolbar then becomes a part of my default Illustrator setup um, and I can access it anytime under window, toolbars, and there it is, the demonstration toolbar. Um, I've made a ton of different toolbars, as you can see, um, depending on what it is exactly that I'm working on. So that is all there is to making your own toolbar. If you decide that you need to edit the toolbar at any time or make changes to it, um, what you can do is go to Window and Toolbars. And if you go to Manage Toolbars, this will allow you to add and subtract tools. Um, so if you click on the Web Tools, for example, and the Trash Can, it will delete that toolbar. I'm going to get rid of a bunch of these. I made them for a demo. Um, and then when you go back to your toolbars, in the Windows menu, you just have the, the ones um, that, that remain. If you want to make changes to your toolbar once you've already created it, you're going to click on the three buttons down at the bottom. It's going to bring that um, dialog box that allows you to add and subtract tools. Down at the bottom you also have your color options, your uh, so your fill and stroke, your coloring controls, um, your drawing controls, different drawing modes, and your screen modes as well. You can add any of those to your toolbar. And again, if you add something or you know you change your mind about what you would like to add, you can the the show options or just a to toggle on or off. And the tools, all you have to do to remove a tool is to drag it outside of the existing um, toolbar. So I hope that was helpful. That's how you create a custom toolbar in Adobe Illustrator.